and draw diagonal lines. So we have straight lines that go up and down, lines that go horizontal, you can make zigzag lines, dotted lines, wavy lines, but for diagonal lines, you would draw from a corner to a corner at an angle. They can go this way, they can go this way, but they're always at an angle. So they're never straight up and down, they just are at angles. So corner to corner would make a diagonal line. For this project, you're gonna start with how old you are. Let's pretend that I'm 10 years old. So I'm going to start with 10 different lines in the same color. So if I take purple, I'm going to draw 10 lines. So 1, 2, 3, and I'm going up to the very edge of the paper. 4, I'm not just stopping in the middle, I'm going all the way to the edge. 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm going to start switching colors and making diagonal lines inside each shape that I've made. So remember, diagonal lines don't go up and down. They go from corner to corner. So I'm going to make the, the lines diagonal. And I want balance, so I'm not going to put orange in any of these adjacent shapes. I'm going to skip and draw orange again in a different shape. And you could have your diagonal lines going other ways. And again, I'm trying to touch one line to the other line. I'm not just going to make little marks in the middle. I want it to go all the way to the other line. A way you can check and make sure that your lines are diagonal is hold up your pencil or whatever you're using to color with your pastel and hold your pen hold it up to match the edge of your paper. That's straight up and down. So if you want a diagonal, it should be not straight up and down. It should be at an angle of some sort. So good, these are not they don't match the pastel, they're at an angle. You're going to go through and fill every shape with diagonal lines. We're going to paint these next time. So if you want to do the trick where the magic white shows up later, you can certainly add diagonal lines with white. And then you're done with day one.
For day two, you're going to paint your diagonal lines and use watercolor paints. Um, today you have the option of all of the different colors. We have the primaries, red, yellow, and blue, and the secondaries, orange, green, and purple. So then what you can do is, you don't want to put the same color paint as you have for the pastel, because you kind of want to see what it will look like with kind of opposite colors or how different colors look next to one another. Um, so I could do green with this yellow. And remember to paint very gently with lots of water to make that oil pastel really resist the watercolor. So don't push hard, he's very gentle. If you want, you can try mixing a few colors together by putting some color on the paper. And then choosing a new color to add into that color. So I could make like a yellow green color here. And then I have a lot of diagonal lines with a lot of beautiful colors. And now my artwork's ready for the drying rack.